So what really killed the Wicked Witch of the West? Why, brain impairment, of course. Let's talk about it some more. But first, welcome. I'm Dr. Lisa Ann Homick from Homick Advanced Chiropractic, and this is Brain Snob, episode 22. Everyone should be a brain snob. It is not an insult. It is a high compliment. It means you understand how the brain works so that you can harness your brain for amazing experiences. Your brain makes your body. You make your life. So we can see how different health concerns translate to brain care with the BFA protocol, Brain First Always. It is the master system, so let's start at the top. When you come to the office, you can pick up your copy of the BFA template as well as the roadmap for the healing journey. Returning back to the Wicked Witch of the West who met her demise thanks to a bucket of water. Um, what really killed her? I don't think it was that bucket of water. I think she had lived a lifetime of inflammation that built up so much in her body that her tissue resilience was ready to collapse and disintegrate at any moment. Dorothy could have just done this, <sighs> blown on her, and she would have just fallen apart into little tiny fragments and disappeared. But Dorothy had the water at her fingertips and gave the toss, <sighs> and bye-bye uh, witch, and everybody lived happily ever after. Now let's talk about what happens to us in our bodies because I want to focus on inflammation causing tissue destruction, which reduces your tissue resilience. I know I, I say a lot of strange words and I don't have a, sometimes I don't have a beginning, middle, and the end. But here's the thing, I don't want to wait for a diagnosis because a diagnosis just means you can be more depressed now because there's a name for why you feel crappy and then the prognosis isn't that great and there's um the medical protocol is medical so i i want to approach it before we get to that point if you have a copy of the bfa template i have five generic uh, uh, clues that you are suffering from brain impairment. They don't, they're not a diagnosis, but they're a starting point to help you understand, take care of it now. And even if you are dealing with chronic issues, we can still do a BFA protocol. Nothing wrong with that. The more, the more you do, the greater it's going to turn out. So the brain impairment just tell, uh, is what I want to fight because the brain makes the body. If you have inflammation in your body, just be aware, you've got inflammation in the brain too, and it is worse when it's in the brain. And the mitochondria, the life is sucked out of them, so you don't have the energy. Your body doesn't have enough energy to maintain itself, so we got to take care of the brain. It all starts with the brain. What do I focus on? Here's my terminology. terminology you'll hear me say a lot in the office. Tissue reserve tissue resilience, muscle wasting, because when your muscles are atrophying, they just don't have that bounce back factor. Sarcopenia, that's the medical terminology for muscle wasting. Arterial integrity, that's important as well, because uh, our tissues make up our arteries and our organs and our connective tissues, they all work together. We don't want to ignore one over the other. Inflammation damage, because da the inflammation does put a lot of damage on the tissue. That's, how, that's why we have tissue destruction. And the mitochondria, we got to take care of those babies because they are the powerhouse, powerhouses of your cells. And if your brain doesn't have mitochondria, the power isn't there. This, it's lights out. Another thing I like to say a lot. But go, go back to the video in, uh, a few weeks ago where I said, are you more toxin than human? Um, are you more inflammation? Do you have more inflammation in your body than you have tissue? Because the inflammation just kind of takes over if we don't recognize it and if we don't take care of it properly. And a lot of us, we do not know how to take care of it properly. That's what I'm trying to teach people how to take care of your brain and your tissues so you don't have to have annoying symptoms. 
symptoms that will domino effect into a disease, and we don't want to give it a disease name, because that's the point of uh, really chronic, chronic issues, and we don't want to get there, and we don't, but we don't want to gamble with it, because a lot of people do. They gamble with their tissue resilience, and a day comes finally when nothing will help. You, the tissues don't bounce back. They don't regenerate. They don't heal. And when you have poor tissue regeneration, you have organ failure. We don't want to get to that point. So rather than gambling, because then you're just watching the clock tick, and how much longer is my body going to hold up? Even though we do things that are helpful, we you know taking supplements, watching our diet, uh, getting more sleep, getting more exercise, but I want to teach you the missing ingredients because they're there and people aren't aware of them. You can gamble with your tissue resilience or you can intentionally build your brain. That's the choice. You can do so-so things, you can think it's on autopilot and just put it on the back burner, or you can be intentional. And my uh, passion is being intentional. I want to be intentional with brain health. Now, we can do some new and unique things that you haven't done before. That's the whole point of the BFA protocol. I bet you there are some new and unique things you haven't tried and you haven't done. Maybe you haven't heard of them. Some of them are a little bit controversial because uh, we, we do have this societal uh, habit of sticking to what's old. And some things that are old never really worked in the first place. So I do ask people to decide, what side of stubborn are you going to stand on? I'd like to be on the stubborn side of intentionality. Is that a word? Intention? I just, I like it. I like that word. We've got to be intentional with our brain health because the brain makes the body. So if you're ready to try some new and unique things, or perhaps you're doing some good things that we need to tweak, let's do it. So... I want you to dive into a better future with a better brain. Learn how to move, feed, and talk to your brain. How do we do that? We visit the office. And also go to my blog. It's called createpurpose.com. Watch the orientation video on YouTube and start a conversation in the comment section below of this video. Be sure to hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and last but not least, Hit that bell so you get notified when I make my next episode. It's around the corner. It's cooking up in my brain right now. Uh, how can I make an interesting outlook on brain health? How can I entice you to fall in love with brain health? And I want you to become a brain snob. Because if you are, you have that positive ripple effect in your community. Thanks for watching.